I am your new teacher, Mr. Rahul. Today we are going to learn second part of this lesson that is the 100 races part 2. In first part, we have seen how Vanda was troubled by her classmates. And then uh, at the end, we have seen that, that there are there three characters, Peggy, Maddie, and Miss Massa, who was the class teacher uh, of that group number 30. That particular class, and then they used to trouble. Vanda was troubled by these these two girls as well as uh, her classmates. Then what happened next? We are going to see. Then we have to uh, understand. We have to see the background of the lesson. Why Vanda was troubled by this Peggy? Maddy was not that uh, initiative in that uh, trouble, but she was part of that trouble. Then also. Uh, and her uh, few classmates also were troubling her. Why? No, because she was from the world. She was not native American. And that is why she was not troubled by the classmates. And then afterwards, we have seen that uh, there was a contest of the drawing uh, where girls had been told to draw some sketches of the dresses. And uh, boys were given uh, the duty to sketch. And in that, uh, as usual, they thought that Peggy, who was a very beautiful girl, uh, will be the uh, bigger contest. But at the end, we have seen that there were hundreds of pieces of the dresses uh, in the room, and everybody was astonished by seeing all this, and which was drawn, it was sketched by Vanda. And then they have certain different uh, astonishment, amazement that uh, how Vanda can do this. Because she was a very shy girl, and she was not at all. Um, talking too much, uh, so was not bored as well. So they were surprised and astonished at how she can do it. But uh, to their uh, surprise, she was not coming in the school in these many days, many, many four days. So they couldn't get also that particular reason. So in the last lesson, what we have seen, Venta was a girl who was from Poland, then Peggy one was a native American, uh, so she was beautiful and she was uh, dominated. Class by her beauty also and by her knowledge also. Mary was Peggy's friend, Peggy's four close friend, and Miss Mason was uh, the class teacher that we have seen. And this is the continuous first part we have learned, and now we are going to learn the second part what exactly happened. Why that went up uh, really come in the school that we are going to learn. So we will see that uh, by a lot of ways, when the class was circling the room, the monitor from the principal's office brought Miss Mason a note. Miss Mason read it several times and studied it thoughtfully for a while. Then she clapped her hands. So we have seen that uh, Vanda had uh, won the uh, contest of drawing sketches. But she uh, couldn't come to school around the uh, Madam Miss, and Miss Mason couldn't give her result that uh, in coming or the winner of this competition because she was not coming. That is many days she was not coming. So as usual, uh, school has started. When the class was circling in the room, the monitor from the principal's uh, office brought this mason a note. The note uh, the monitor of the class has brought. We hasten read it several times and studied it thoughtfully. For a while. And this mason has seen that note. She has read it several times and she was in a deep uh, thinking. What exactly was written that day? Everybody was thinking. Then she clapped her hand and then she clapped her hand. Why she clapped her hand? She wanted to attract the attention of the whole class. That is why she had clapped her hands. Attention of the class. Everybody went back to their seat. She had ordered, she had um, commanded to her class that with a uh, with be attentive, I want to say something. When the shuffling of feet had stopped and the room was still and quiet, Miss Mason said, I have a letter from Vanda's father that I want to read to you. And everybody was eager why Vanda was not coming to school. And similar kind of notes she has got, Miss Mason has got, so she wanted to tell why. And uh, she, she said, she told the whole class that uh, I have a letter which was written by Vanda's father. And will you please keep quiet so that I can read it? Miss Mason stood there a moment and uh, silence in the room grew tense and expectant. 
the teacher adjusted the glasses slowly and deliberately. The manner indicated that what was coming is later from Vanna's father was a matter of great importance. Everybody listened closely as Miss Mason read the brief note. So Miss Mason stood there a moment and the silence in the room view of things and it's quite unexpected. Why was the silence was expected? Because everybody was curious about why Vanna was not coming in the school. And see, she, Ms. Mason has stood up and she stopped, she has waited uh, till the whole class will get uh, keep quiet. And then see, uh, everybody was really quite eager to understand why, what exactly uh, when the father has written in the note. The teacher had written her glasses, you know, that uh, when we start reading uh, our really serious material and then we take some pause, like the teacher has taken the pause. And she has deliberately uh, took some pauses, she has adjusted her glasses, and then uh, she has started uh, to read the letter that was written by Vanda's father. Dear teacher, my Vanda will not come to your school anymore. Jesus, now we move away to big city. No more bother, Polak, no more ask why and then. Play the awkward names in big city. Your story, Jack Petrovsky. The letter was very brief, uh, different. What it was suggested, what the letter has suggested, that my aunt Vanda will not come to your school anymore. J also, so here you can understand J is uh, brother of, or J was brother of Vanda, and he also not going to come. Now we move away to a big city. So according to him, it is a very small city and that is why uh, students get some new, new name, they don't have that many familiar with the other names and that is why they are making fun with the, the new name. So no more others, no more ask why many names. So there will not be any high pitch sound of the taunting others and all. And then no more cola. Cola is the, you know, those uh, people came from the fallen. They used to uh, tease them in the polar, these people belong to Poland. Like uh, they were teasing, it is not the funny, it is they use for the. So dear teachers, my vendor will not come to your school anymore. They can so. Now we move away to big city. No more color for all. No more ask why funny names. Plenty of funny names in the big city. You are truly just like all. This was the later. It was, written, it was written by uh, John Petrovsky, Vanda's father, was read by the uh, Miss Ness. A deep silence made the reading of this letter because now all the students of the class have understood Vanda has read the school. A deep silence, there was a deep silence in the class. Miss Bethlehem took off her glasses, blew on them, and wiped them on her soft white. Then she put them on again and looked at the class when she spoke her voice was very low. And after reading the latest letter, again she removed her spectacles. Miss Mason has removed her spectacle. She has uh, done something which was unusual or when somebody is in anxiety or uh, in a deep thought, what someone does like that she has done. And she again she wipes her brows. Spectacle which shows nervousness because she has lost her one of the children in the class. Then she took them again and looked at the class again, and she was thoughtful while looking. As he said, I am sure that none of the boys and girls in the room number 13 would purposely and deliberately hurt someone's penny because he or her name happened to be a dog. And she has big confidence about her class. That is why she said that whatever happened with the Vanda is not deliberately done or not purposely done. It might because suppose somebody will do that, then her name or his name will be for a long time uh, in a not in a good list. I prefer to think that what was said and was said in the thoughtless way. Whatever was uh, uh, was happened during uh, this particular period of time. That was uh, the product of the thoughtlessness. This without thinking, something has happened, and it happens in the life also, like the like, like CSA. I know that all of you feel the way I know that this is very unfortunate thing to have happened, as an unfortunate and sad thought. And likewise, as I am thinking, as I am feeling, like that you are also, you all are also feeling that this is an unfortunate thing, this is a very sad thing happened in the class. And I want you all to think about it. See why is CSE like that? Because 
should not happen again and again with us. Because one should not hurt anybody. The first time I was studying today, and I did not try to prepare the lesson, but she was not for the mind of the world. Because you know that the other reason we know was to the bad he was not uh, in the pay when she was doing like that. He was a very close uh, close friend of um, Peggy, but whenever Peggy teased or asked any funny question to her, uh, well, how many days do you have? That then she was not feeling it is a good thing to ask. But as she was dependent on the baby, baby that is why she couldn't uh, do anything because she thought that, when thought that we have learned in the last lesson, that we, she thought that if she will raise the voice, maybe Mary will be the next target for the baby. That is when she stopped. So when she have heard the lecture, when she had listened to the lecture, it was saying by Banda's father, she became a little nervous. And then for that later was certain um, certain later which was totally uh, has given the chance of introspection that one should not um, you know, hurt someone else. And because of she was not comfortable in the class. She was not comfortable, totally comfortable with that is why she had removed his name, her name from the class. Okay. So the first one was study period and Mary trying to prepare her lesson, but she could not go to the mind of work because she was thinking something about the Vanda. She had a very sick feeling in her bottom of her stomach because she was feeling guilty. You know, exactly she was a, uh, something which she has physical problem, but she was feeling very guilty, you can say. No, she had not enjoyed listening to Peggy ask Vanda how many dresses she had in her closet, but she had said nothing. That was a guilt in her mind. That was a guilt was the mind in the mind of Mary. But because that time she could have stopped her. If that time Mary would have stopped Peggy to say like that, then Vanda would be in her right now. That was the thinking was going on in Mary's uh, mind. But she had said nothing. She had stood by silently, and that was just as bad as what Peggy had done. And she is thinking, she is also thinking that what if Peggy had done? And she hadn't said anything. Mary hadn't think said anything. That is why it is a similar kind of scene. It is a similar kind of bad thing which had happened there. She was coward, or maybe not, not courageous. At least Peggy hadn't considered they were they were being mean. But see, Mary had thought they were doing wrong. Is that thing what Peggy, Peggy was used to tease? Peggy used to tease uh, Amanda. That time Peggy didn't think that it is wrong. But that time Mary was thinking it was wrong. But she uh, didn't say anything. That was the wrong thing which had happened because she was coward. And now she is thinking that she would put herself in Amanda's shoes. If Amanda would be there, suppose she is. Place of Vanda, how she would have felt that she should have felt at time, then Vanda would be your learning the post in the work cutting. Goodness. Was not there anything that she could do? If only she could tell Vanda she hadn't been to her how feeling. Now she has passed away. Now she can't do anything here. Now only thing she can do that is she can regret. She can tell Vanda that whatever happened to her, she is not part of that. She didn't want to, she didn't want to do like that. She turned around and stole a glass at the baby. Now, she was thinking, when she, she has uh, listened to the letter of uh, Vanda's father, she became so introspective. Why? Because she, ha she had aware of the thought that she did something wrong. And now also, she is thinking that I must do something. I just ask for the apologies. Vanda. And that is when she again she has looked at the baby, she still did it. She stole her glass and baby is what? Still did it. Very, uh, um, without knowing her, she had seen a baby. But baby did not look up. She seemed to be studying hard. Just see, by the we can understand, baby and Mary. These two words are very different. Mary was very sensitive. When somebody heard by her action, that is why she is thinking about that. She is busy while they are here, but Peggy has stopped her business there when uh, she has heard the letter, she has written the letter which was read by uh, Mrs. Uh, Masson. She has left there and she started studying, but she couldn't uh, concentrate, Mary couldn't concentrate because she was thinking that something wrong she had did, she had done with the Vanda. Peggy uh, was trying to 
fight with her and they would have still went up. She had to own the contest and now she is thinking that Mary had to do something. She wanted to be great, she wanted to apologize to Vanda. So she had to find Vanda at Trump's hearing now. Because suppose she wanted to apologize, want to apologize, then she has to go to her and she has to ask for her excuse. Maybe she had not yet moved away. Okay, maybe. Peggy uh, would have signed the fight with her and they would tell Vanda she had won the contest and uh, they thought she was smart and hundred things were beautiful and what, what she has thought that we will go to her house, we will go to her and meet her and we will tell that uh, you have won the, won the grand contest which was uh, kept by the school and your, your speeches are very beautiful and all these things she wanted to tell. So that will be the beginning of the meeting. She has supposed in her mind. When the school was dismissed in the afternoon, the people of this discourse, Peggy said with the pretended casualness, hey, let's go and see if that kid has left town or not. Just see, even though I feel that even Peggy's thinking was the same about that whatever she had done in the past. So she wanted to show that I'm not that uh, bothered about these things that uh, Valda has left the school and all. But uh, certain thing was there in mind of the day, day also. So she said, casually, uh, casually, this was very uh, showing him difference. That hey, let's go and see if the kids has left town or not. Mm, so baby had had the same idea that Lord Peg was really alright. And by this uh, statement, that hey, let's go and see if the kid has left town or not. By this statement, Mary understood baby also thinking the same. He was thinking that's more than that, but she, she was also thinking the same thing. The two girls read out of the building up the street towards the bottom is high. The part of the town that uh, owes such a forbidding air on this kind of November afternoon, teasing that and a dismal. So the area of that was not that good. It was weighed and uh, sad. It was not that sad. It was that uh, good. It was very sad. It was very interesting. They can say here. In the state of the hopelessness, because he was living in such an area which was not the main for the sophisticated person. Even though we can, underst we can understand by the first uh, part of this lesson that Vanda was very sophisticated towards. Because by how can we say that? Because she was sitting at the second, uh, the second last bed, but she was not clever. She was clever, but she doesn't want to. Because she was by coming, she her uh, feet was uh, covered with the mud and all. And she doesn't want to, didn't want to uh, travel anywhere. Even when uh, this uh, Peggy and many other classmates uh, made fun of her, she didn't say anything. She said very politely, Yes, I have 100 dresses, which is lying in my closet. But she didn't argue with uh, Peggy anymore. So whenever they asked any questions, she used to tell that. But we can understand she was very, very comfortable in her own nature. Well, at least uh, said Peggy uh, lovely. I never did call her, call her or make fun of her name. Now Peggy is uh, trying to give excuse that uh, she hasn't done anything wrong with her. She hasn't said that uh, you are calling her or your name is something funny. No, she never said like that. Only what she has uh, she used to ask, how many dresses you have? So that was the fun which she, she had gained on her. So she is trying to justify that she hadn't done anything wrong with the mm, Vanda. I never thought she had the same sort of sense to know we were making fun of her anyway. And if I would know that, that uh, she's is getting hurt, I would have stopped that time only. I didn't understand that she is getting hurt. She said, Peggy said, I thought she was too dumb and he look how she can draw. I thought that she is not that good, she is not that intellectual, or she is not that skillful, but it is amazing that she, she can draw very fabulously. Many would say nothing because she was not very nervous, because she knew very well that something had wrong happened by her because of bad company, because of Peggy. All she hoped that was that they would find Vanda. She wanted to tell her that they were very sorry that they had picked on her because of this one. She made fun of her, she made some wrong thing with her. And how wonderful the whole school thought she was.
dark money center in the middle. Three is her forehead, and she really hot. And she couldn't sleep because the particular thing, particular bad minion here was not letting her sleep. And then when she woke up, she sat in the midnight and she put her finger on her forehead and she had done something. This was the hardest thing she had ever done. After a long time, she reached an important freedom. She sat there and she I concluded something. What she said, she was never going to stand by and say anything again. So what she had decided that, that she will not uh, stand this uh, the person who had done something wrong and who is doing something wrong. Not now and not in future also. She had decided not to bully on others or not to give, uh, no, not to take side of that the person who is bullying others or taking fun of others. If she ever heard as anybody thinking or on someone because they were funny looking or because they had strange names, she had speak up, even if it mean uh, losing daily friendship, no matter. So she, she had decided, even somebody is making fun of others because of uh, his or her uh, funny looking, funny looking or certain good bad names or certain unrealistic names, she will not at all tolerate that. Even she has to you know, sacrifice her friendship with the baby, no matter she will sacrifice, but she will uh, not take a side of the wrong thing. She had no way of making things like with Vanda. But from now on, she would never make anybody else that unhappy again. Now she has got the torture which she had find that whatever she had done in the past that was torturing her again. On Saturday night, Maddie spent uh, the afternoon with Peggy. They were writing a letter to Vanda and Tom's. It was just 20 later, telling about the contest and telling Vanda she had home. And now they couldn't meet uh, Vanda there. That is why uh, they wanted to write a letter to uh, Vanda. So they wanted to start with the very you know, friendly uh, lines like, uh, you know, on the contest, we are missing you and that. It was just a friendly letter telling about the contest and telling when uh, she had won. Uh, she uh, then they told her how pretty her drawings were well and uh, and they asked her if she liked where she uh, where she was living and uh, if she liked her new teacher because she went to another uh, school so she wanted to they wanted to ask different things about her how how are your teachers then uh, did you like that new school or did you like that new house and all these things. They wanted to ask in the later, and they asked uh, her if she liked uh, when she was living and if she liked her new teacher. They had meant to say they were sorry, but it ended up if they are just writing a friendly letter, the coming they would uh, have written to any good friend. And they signed uh, it with lots of X or the number. They have written their uh, uh, n number of loves there. They wanted to make amends with that. Actually, they wanted to write a sorrow letter, but they have written in that, uh, that how they are missing her uh, and they wanted to acknowledge their love for her. And that is why at the end they have written many number of love there. They made the letter to the boggy side writing, please follow us on Twitter. Actually, they didn't know the name, address, proper address of the letter. That is why they have written uh, to please follow on the evolution. Maybe uh, they don't have that particular address of Vanda, but uh, where she was living, the particular post office might have, because they might have given that this is my particular address, so wherever any letter will come, you have to forward to on this. And they show that they have written, please forward on the envelope. Days passed and there was uh, no answer, but the letter did not come back. So maybe Vanda had received it. So they have waited again and again, but many days passed. But the answer of the letter had come. So maybe Vanda had received it or maybe not. There was a possibility that maybe they have, she had not received it. But yeah, she was uh, so hot and angry, she was not going to give the answer. That was the many, uh, you know, some possibilities uh, he could not blame her. So weeks went by and still Vanda did not answer. Peggy had begun to forget the whole business. But Mary was not like that. She was just with the bad thought of it. And even though many um, days over, but uh, she couldn't uh, get the answer. 
which made by the MC Vanda did not after making a million to forget the whole business and many put herself to sleep at night making speeches about Vanda, defending her from the general crowd of those who were trying to tease her with how many dresses have we bought and before Vanda could uh, press her in together in the light, light line, the way she did uh, before answering many women cry or stop, they everybody would feel ashamed the way she you know that uh, Maddie couldn't beat Vanda. Maddie couldn't apologize her. And that is why she used to um, she used to be away till midnight. She used to make the speeches, well, I will meet Vanda, Vanda, you say like that. Or she used to imagine that uh, uh, all the classmates are teasing her and she's trying to uh, make them talk. As soon as they used to ask how you can say now. But before asking that question, she used to stop them, all the things she was thinking. Now it was the Christmas time and there was uh, snow on the ground. Christmas bells and small trees decorated the classroom. On the last day of the school, before and the holiday, the teacher showed the class a letter she had received that morning. And it was the last day of the school. And uh, it was Christmas and it was the last day. The teacher has received a letter and which she wanted to uh, read before the Class. You remember Vanda at all? She, she asked a very uh, usual question. You remember, do you remember Vanda Vanda Petrovsky, the gifted little artist who owned the drawing contest? Well, she has written me and I am glad to know where she lives because now I can sing her medal. I want to read her later to you. She had again uh, this uh, method saying that I want to read and now I got the address where she actually lived. The class sat up with a sudden interest and uh, it listened very intently because uh, because they were they were also very interested to listen. Her. The letter was, dear Miss uh, Maxon, how are you, my room room number thirty? Please tell the girls they can keep those hundred dresses because in my new house I have a hundred new ones all lined up in my closet. I would like that poor baby to have the drawing of the green dress. The great tree and her friend Mary to have a new one. So for Christmas, Christmas, I leave that school and my new teacher does not equalize with you. Merry Christmas to all, to you and everybody. You was uh, truly Venda Petrovsky. This was the later. But this later we can understand that <coughs> Venda was still, uh, you know, very attached to the uh, this class, room number 13. Also, she was very attached to. Well, my dear, I have hundred new ones, and whatever drawing I have made, you can take it. All the students of the class can take it. So it was the hum. She was this. By this, we can understand. She was very good when Peggy used to ask a question: How many dresses do you have? Now she said, I have again. I have sketched more hundred dresses with me, so you can have those uh, hundred dresses. On the way home from the school, Mary and Peggy carry their drawing very carefully. They have taken because especially uh, Vanda has given, Vanda has written that, that one of one, one, one later one uh, green dress in the creamy color that should be given to baby and blue one to man. <coughs> well, see, they have taken very carefully those dresses which come, uh, that pick case uh, of the dresses. All the houses had red and hole in the windows inside the closet, closet uh, store. Hundreds of the Christmas trees were sacked and in the window candy, paper bean sticks and uh, corridors and of shiny transparent paper were strung. The air smelled like Christmas and light shining everywhere. They take different colors of the snow. It was very, uh, you know, very nice atmosphere because Christmas celebration was there. So in the air, everywhere atmosphere was very very enlarged. Boy, said Peggy. This shows she really likes us. And both are, even though we can understand by this, that Maddie was expressing, but Peggy was not expressing, but both now both are aware thinking about the Vanda. It shows that she, uh, she got the word later, and this is her way of saying that everything is alright. And that's that's that. And she said, Peggy um, concluded that she likes us. That is why she had said.
status to have seen and uh, told that the particular pictures that we have today. I hope to say many said it. She felt sad because she knew she would never see the little bright uh, leaf polish girl again and couldn't ever really make things right over there. Now, even though the greater has come, Mary becomes so happy, but uh, she is so sad because she, she no more, she knew very well that I couldn't beat her and I couldn't, you know, disguise or patch up that whatever I have done. Actually, she wanted to say that I haven't, even though I was a bit petty, but I, I used to be regret for that. But she couldn't do that because she was very, very sad. She went home uh, and she in her drawings over a torn place in the pink flower wallpaper in the bedroom. Now she went home and she has taken that particular uh, scale uh, in her room and she has uh, hung or she has been the, her drawing the torn paper. Maybe she has certain wallpaper and one particular torn wallpaper she has a patch of that particular uh, drawing which has given by the panda by saying to Miss Mason. And the shabby room came alive from the brilliancy of the colors. And the, the color which has, which has been used by the Vanda in the perfect picture made that room very very enlightened. She had stood by and said nothing, but Vanda had been nice to her anyway. She, she has seen and uh, she said nothing. Tears blurred her eyes and she gazed for a long time at the picture because she still sees it greatly. She is missing Vanda very well. And that is why the missing, because she is missing a lot, that is why she started crying, tears comes out and uh, then hastily she rubbed her eyes and studied it intently. The colors of the dresses were so vivid that she had uh, scarcely noticed the face uh, and head of the drawing. She was very uh, totally engrossed with the picture and colors that is why she couldn't see the face of the picture. At the end, but it looked like uh, at the picture, but it looked like her. Maddie, it really looked like her own mouth. Why it really looked like her own self? Vanda had really drawn this for her excitedly. She ran over to the pages. And when she went to near, went near the picture, she had seen that it was a picture of herself. It was a picture of Maddie. And she knew very well that, it took, uh, that Vanda has sketched my portrait there. And she ran towards the pages. She might thought that uh, that the picture which was given to uh, Peggy was also the picture of Peggy. Maybe. Peggy, she said, let me see your picture. What's the matter? Asked Peggy. As they uh, clapped, chattered up uh, to her room, where Vanda's drawing was laying face down on the bed. Mary carefully raised it. Look, she drew you. That's you, she exclaimed. And the head and the face of the picture did look like you, Peggy. And again, she has uh, told that. It is your picture, she has sketched your picture. What is I say? said Peggy. She must have really liked us anyway. And then Peggy has concluded that why she has sketched our picture because she liked us very much. That is what she has. Yes, she must have agreed, Maddie. And she blinked uh, away the tears that came every time she thought of Vanda standing alone in that sunny spot in the schoolyard. And whenever she thinks, uh, whenever she miss her, miss Vanda, uh, the tears comes out uh, from her eyes and she blinked it and she used to uh, you know, again and again um, thinking and looking very stoically over the group of the laughing girls and she had walked off after she had said sure hundred of them all lined up. You know that uh, it's the line which was very uh, tagline of the lesson that all I have hundred and they are all lined up in the class and in the closet. So this was what uh, lesson said to me and I have to you. So by this lesson we have to understand one thing that we should not make for of others because everybody has a sense of dignity and we should take care of that. We should treat others like we want to want it that one should treat me myself. So if we follow that, there should there will be vanity and we will not make uh, anybody uh, you know, sad. So that's what lesson uh, wanted to in this lesson the writer wanted to convey and uh, we have to follow that we should not hurt others and we have to be uh, very good with others. We have to keep proper brotherhood and we have to uh, keep good humanity among ourselves.